Hello to all of my Aries and happy midweek Wednesday. This reading is for the 1st of November through the 1st of December. You may be watching this on October 31st. Uh, so let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say, Aries. Let's go. Let's so let's go. Let's see what the cards have to say, Aries. Let's do it. <laughs> Thank you to those of you all who add comments under the videos, whether they are kind or unkind. Thank you for your viewership. Let's get into it. Let's see what your cards have to say. Here we have the Ten of Wands. Here we have the Wheel of Fortune. Here we have the Hermit card, the Judgment card, the Sun card, and also the Sword energy, right? Booked and busy, I see. Here we have the Judgment card, the Hermit card, the Sun card. All right, very nice. So, Source is saying somebody is definitely um, breaking generational cycles, chains, and curses. So, you may be the first person in your family to a lot of do a lot of things, and Source keeps trying to tell you that you're ready. You ready? You're good enough. This is still your year. All you have to do is stay in your purpose. I see booked and busy, not burdened at all. And it looks like somebody's definitely smart enough. So you definitely gotta you gotta guard your thoughts. Like really, really guard your thoughts about things. So your ancestors are very proud of you for focusing on uh the uh um uh, Whatever, you're the first person in your family to do something, or at least some, the first person in your generation to do something in your family. Whatever it is you're focusing on, so it says keep your mind there, right? All right, double booked and busy. Love it. Source definitely wants somebody to either go back to school or read more books and just really sharpening your mind in whatever industry you're in. Doesn't matter what your industry is, but whatever industry, in, industry you're in, Source wants you because that's what's going to earn you more money is um you know after coming out of some kind of deep disappointment or heartbreak people talking about you behind your back source doesn't want you to be woe is me if anything source wants you back on your throne and vetting your own personal thoughts here we also have the five of swords there's two situations in particular source wants you to release and move on from and to be double booked and busy two for two two situations that source says you could have burned you burned you out stressed you out whatever your third eye is wide open we're going to go ahead and shut this down early like I said, so kudos and congratulations to whoever is ready to be double booked and busy and not burdened and bitter by something in the past. Yeah, this person is looking back at the past. You're not interested in being double, you know, burdened by the past. Who are other people's burdens? You're just moving on. Moving on. Ace of Pentacles, Healing, Nine of Cups. We have Justice, Judgment, you know, Princess of Pentacles. So again, there's definitely an emphasis on um, focusing on, <clears throat> focusing on, it looks like somebody has double, like some kind of double legacy. So it could be you and a child or you and your kids, like somebody's focusing on breaking generational cycles, chains and curses in your family. But you got to first remember, I got to release some things from the past. I got to release, release, release and start to focus the process of healing. So whoever those two energies are, two type, let me say two types of energies. Source wants you to sit down and write a list of things as if you already have them. This is wish fulfillment for you. So if you're wishing that, hey, you know, my business is going to do triple in numbers this year, then then write that down. If I wish that, you know, I, you know, meet some people who are equally inspirational or highly intel intelligent, speak it as if you already have it. Because Source is trying to prepare you for your throne of wealth. This is princes. You can look at prince, princes, right? Trying to prepare you for your throne of wealth. And you've worked very hard to get there. So it's time to continue educating yourselves. Let's close it out. Let's see what your number is. And let's see what your um, your card is, your affirmation card is. So a lot of things are happening for you. A lot of things are happening for you. Hmm. They're happening for you. They're not happening to you. They're actually happening for you because sources definitely make somebody trying, trying to make you double booked and busy. It's either you or you and possibly a loved one that you've inspired, you know, to be also booked and busy. So 88, I am wealthy. See those two eights right there? That's right. I am wealthy. People who land on the dark side of the number eight have either succumbed to passive and powerless behavior or people who are um, people who are um, egotistical, materialistic, and forceful, right? Those people who get very angry when their money is out of alignment. So they just got to bulldoze their way through people's lives. Just very bullying type of low vibration energies. But people who land on the, bright, the light side of the number eight 
They know exactly what their purpose on this planet is. So they don't sweat a whole lot of stuff. They just say, okay, this is a human experience. I'm not sweating that. I know what my purpose is. Let me go on back to my purpose. I got changed lives, right? So I am wealthy. You are on the cusp of a prosperous and abundant spiritual life. You will find numerous opportunities for success and achievement, all of which will bring financial and material abundance into your life. That's right. That's what source is trying to do for somebody. Double booked and busy and not burdened. Um, last card. Let's close it out, Aries. Let's go ahead and close it out. Mm, 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 mm. Affirmations for joy. I was created for a purpose. Every, great things happen to me each day. My very presence is a blessing. I believe in myself. Joy is a choice and I choose joy. Greater is coming. I am enough. Yeah, when you're around negative people and people who put negative comments under people's videos or negative comments under people's uh, TikToks or Instagram, that already shows you what, what frequency they're on. So I say get from away those type get from away from those types of energies and stay at your frequency at a high frequency. Because source is saying at a high frequency, I'm trying to make you booked and busy and not burdened at all. So things are actually in your favor. There's gonna be a lot of people who think that you're judging them. They're gonna think that you're being harsh. But source is saying you gotta stay laser focused, locked in and laser focused, because you're definitely trying to change you know change make a a big splash in the pond right trying to really change people's lives so that's what source wants you to focus on i will see you on freedom friday bye